Yes, YouTube, welcome back to another video and thanks for joining me. So in today's video, we're gonna carry on with the progression of Burst Enclosure, trying to complete the biggest bioactive terrarium I've done to date. So today, I'm gonna to cover how I'm gonna waterproof that tank using acrylic sheets. So that's something that interests you, then make sure you stay tuned. But before we do that, we need to clear out the tank. We made an early start, hence why none of the lights are on quite yet in this room. So enough of me waffling on, let's just get on with today's video. Okay, so we managed to finally clear that down. Uh, a bit sad to see it empty, but it's gonna look a lot better when it's done. So what I'm gonna do now is flip it around so we can start putting the plastic sheets on. So I've unpacked those downstairs. They're a bit bulky. See the back and the bottom there. We've got the sides there. I've got a big bag of earth from where we took this enclosure out, but I'll be reusing that rather than wasting it in the bottom of the new enclosure. And we're gonna add some fresh to that as well, as well as some organics to try and help the soil. But let's get this flipped over, just gives all the mess. And we'll make a start. Okay, so that's all the panels installed. Looking good. It looks a little bit messy in there just because I've smeared some silicone on there just to help the foam attach. Don't know if it works, I've done it in every other build, so we'll carry on doing that. As you can see, I've sealed all around the edges. Let's try and make it as waterproof as possible. Now, I did notice there's a couple of little holes down in these little bits here and I'll go over those with silicon again today. But I'm gonna be spraying expanded foam around the edges just to strengthen this tank a little bit because unlike a glass tank, it's not as sturdy as a glass tank. So we'll get doing that tomorrow. But we just need to leave this stand now for 24 hours. But it's looking a lot better. It matches the room, it's all black. So why don't we leave this for 24 hours? And I think today's been a bit of hard work, so why don't we go ahead now and feed some of the animals and do something a little bit of fun.
It is warm in here. Okay, so we managed to get another step closer to getting this enclosure finished. We managed to completely waterproof the tank using three millimeter acrylic sheets. Now we've siliconed it all and just need to wait 24 hours for that to dry. Now in the next video, I will be focusing my attention on the back section of the background because we spray foam in both sides as well because there's going to be branches in there. But I'm going to work out a nice centerpiece for this tank and then we'll work backwards from there. So if you want to see how this turns out, then make sure you hit that subscribe button and don't forget to knock that notification bell so you don't miss out any future videos. If you're a new viewer to the channel and the first video you've seen is this one, then first of all, hello and welcome. But as always, if you can do me a massive favor and drop me that thumbs up, leave me a comment, show YouTube you're enjoying this sort of content, share these videos on social media, wherever you can to show me your support. But I think that's enough of me waffling on for today. Whew, I've been in here too long. And I'll see you in the next video.